Okay, hi everyone. Um, I have a call back here uh, on an older armor. Um, the elevator is running, but they're saying that uh, when you're leaving the basement, it, uh, it sort of jumps. I did feel that um, coming up myself. So right now it's sitting at the top floor. I'm going to put um, a bottom call in. And then I'm going to put a seventh floor call in so I can get over there in time to see what happens when it leaves. So again, moving down to the basement. Okay, it's opening and closing. Okay, so it did uh, stutter a little bit there. Um, could have been, could be something like, uh, you know, uh, one of the switches needs to be sort of adjusted so that it's coming off of, you know, bypass or whatever before it, uh, before it uh, leaves the floor. Uh, it doesn't seem super likely on this. Um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of digging uh, and let's uh, figure it out. Okay, I did find this. Hopefully it does it this time. But this is U, uh, M and U contactor. M and U. Um, hopefully it does it this time. It does it more often than not, but let's see. Call up, call in. There it was. So they're dropping out real quick. I did see a spark from over here. Um, it seems to happen definitely most at the basement. However, I did see it happen once at a bit out of mid floor um, so we're gonna start digging into that circuit which is right here you know you gotta have your doors uh, your doors closed you gotta go through these back VX in DOP back and then through your U's and A's and etc etc so we'll start with that keep digging okay I've gone through um, all the connections in UA DA up and main contactor and even my 3c and 3s down here um, no broken wires um, maybe some loose ish connections but nothing that uh, appeared to help it because it is still doing it so um, one of the only other things I can think of right now uh, is that the um, clutch may not be dropping out the lock um, very well could get could be getting it slightly hung up um, causing that jump uh, so we're going to go down and have a look at that. Okay, so looking at the clutch didn't seem to be an issue. Um, the roller track at the top, which we'll see in a second, was pretty grimy. As well as there was a pretty good amount of crap um, down here, which I cleaned out. Um, and up here is what I'm talking about. It's obviously really hard to see, but, you know, behind there, track. So we're going to take off. Okay, so I've had a look here. It is a bit hard to see, uh, but there does appear to be some good clearance between the clutch and the pickup roller. Um, it, the driving on inspection probably isn't going to help much because it drives away the, every time, no problem. Um, and it does, you know, bypass certain things, I believe. So we are going to think have to go back to the controller and keep digging. Um, okay, so before I went, or before I go back upstairs, I decided to look. Um, at the lock again, not because I thought the, the contacts were bad, um, but if you look at this, the beak seems to sit, sorry about all that focus there, forward, and when you drag it back, it seems to be making better contact. Um, and I'm going to confirm that shortly, make a change, and we'll see. Okay, I'm back up here in the machine room. Um, I made the change in the lock. I slid the lock back so it was the contacts were seated a little nicer um i'm sorry that i couldn't get that on video i was getting a bit of a lineup people waiting to use it um so we're going to um run it from the machine room or from the controller here um and you should be able to see that this is no longer dropping out but you can remember that this is m and u and those were dropping out when it would leave the basement so here it comes 
First floor. Basement. Okay, our door is opening. Fully opened. Timing, timing, timing. Closing. Closed. Okay. So I'm going to just put a, uh, a main floor call in because it's at the basement right now. Here you go. There you have it. Nothing. Uh, now I would like to give some full disclosure. Um, I'm a little bit embarrassed and frustrated with myself for not having uh, caught this yesterday. I did look at the lock, uh, but obviously I was not observant enough to see that the beak itself was sitting sort of a little far in. Um, when it was, you know, a new beak and new contacts, it probably had enough meat on it, but after getting worn out, it clearly um, wasn't. So just for fun, let's do one more uh, run here. It comes back down again. Okay. Door is opening. Closing. Closed. Here we go. Nothing again. Beautiful. I'm happy. Uh, and uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Okay, sorry, that's not all. One other thing I thought I would show you here is, uh, as this is a single speed, um, I'm sure most of you will know that in the summer and in the winter, um, the humidity and the coldness, whatever, it affects affects the braking. Um, so you need to adjust. So I did some adjusting on the brakes. That one, the shoes, I should say, some spring tension. Uh, resealed it, and away they go. Four levels are looking pretty good. Just close that up. And now that is all. Thanks for watching.